Morecambe Winter Gardens in Lancashire. Morecambe Winter Gardens was designed by Mangala and Littlewood. It was originally built as the Victorian Pavilion Theatre in 1897. As part of an existing complex from 1878, the original complex included seawater baths, bars and a ballroom with an array of corridors and seating areas and different levels. What will we find lurking around the corners tonight as we investigate this vast building with some well-known acts appearing on the stage in the past who will still be lurking in the shadows tonight. Before we started filming we all went down underneath the stage and placed our Rem doll on a chair, Lucy. Andy was asking out to spirit and eventually got responses in the Rem doll flashing and making a noise. This was captured on my mobile phone. Can you light up the lights? Touch it again, I know you like playing with that dolly, it's not going to hurt you. Did you not like the torch, I wonder? Should I try with the torch off? Yeah, try with the torch off. Touch that dolly again for us. You go down so you can play with it. Thank you. You think the uh, the little plastic balls next to the dolly? You think you can move one of them? Can you do it then, please? Be fantastic if you could. Just move one of the little plastic balls next to the dolly. Do you like that doll? You think you could try really hard and move that chair? Think you could? Well, what name did you get before, Andy? I don't <clears throat> Is she happy that? She always comes across lonely. She's always lonely. It's like she tags around. You feel something on your leg, on your arm. I don't like things with kids. I think it's Lily. If you remember rightly, it was you. It's Lily. If your name's Lily, can you light up the door, please? Yeah. Is this the same little girl I spoke to last time I was here? It was a few years ago. Is this you? Please touch the door, please. ADI is going off the floor as well, right? It's going up and down, now. Yeah. Thank you. So this is the same little girl I spoke to last time. Mm. Let me see you So Andy, we're at uh, Morecambe Winter Gardens and we've had a, we'd have a walk around before we started filming, so what have we... What have you picked up you know, before we started the filming? As soon as I walked into the building, uh, at the very top, I've got a male walking around watching us. Um, quite inquisitive. Uh, unfortunately, we can't get to that area, yeah, yeah. but he's there uh, and he's, he's, he's about watching us. Uh, we've got a young child in the, in the uh, cellar area, uh, which I've picked up last time I was here. Yeah. And we've also got a lady with us now. Um, she's been floating around and she's very busy. Is that the one you just picked yeah. up in the cellar? She's very busy, she's, she's, she's rushing around, she's getting everyone ready. Um, and to me it's like any chance she'll get, she'll just find a quiet corner to go and sit, just yeah. to get away from yeah. everyone, just to try yeah. and get five, get five minutes, yeah. just to, you know. And that's why when she came down into the basement and we were there, that's why she kept saying, I should be upstairs, I should be down there, I should be upstairs. Because when she, when she came down... She... Right, should we carry on then? We'll, uh, we'll make our way round. So it's, it's this second level now, isn't it? It's the, uh, yep. on the main floor. Um, is this? Are you saying the lady comes up here as well? She's all over. She's all over. She's uh, she's very busy. Right. Um, So 
so so you're saying you're saying she's from she covers most of the building. Most of the building, but also we've got we got uh, there's a few. That's why I just walked in there and then yeah. To me, it's like there's a few and I'm just like peeking around the corners, just watching us. Is it males and females? Yeah, yeah, yeah. mixture of all. Um, just watch your watch, where you going, guys? Are we are we are in this part. I can't feel we're in this part. Not... I should continue further back. Yes, yeah, so we go back away. Go back away, guys. Just watch your foot. And where we are now. Last time I was up in this area working, this corridor, I think it's this corridor, the coin absolutely thrown down, right. down the corridor. So that's the best way we can put a trigger rod somewhere around here. Yeah, yeah. All, all, everyone was accounted for. Um, the team I was working with at the time and, and the guests, we was all, we was all there. It was at the end of the night. Everyone was accounted for and was working. Next minute we just had a coin just bouncing up along the floor. Um, so that was fantastic. Every time I've, I've, I've come here, I've, there's always something going on. You know, yeah. you always get something. Yeah. And the, the beauty of this building is, you always get new spirits because they, you know they always interact. Mm -hmm. Some do, some don't. Mm -hmm. So um, it's a fantastic location. It's a really good building to to work in. I love working in here. Um, I just it, heard a whistle. Uh, Did you? Yeah. Did you hear it? Yeah. It is a fantastic job. There, there is. <coughs> There's a few who will, who will put shows on. Uh, yeah. You will hear singing. You will hear like you know. So I'm just getting some clapping. We also got some coming from the spirit box there. That was a few yeah, yeah. yeah. If there's a spirit here that whistled, can you do that again, please? The lady that's been following us around, who's very busy. Can you please do something to let us know you're here? Can you interact with us, please? I'm going to leave to see what goes on with this lit until later on, see what happens with this. But I'm getting um, a lady now, uh, not the same lady from before. Uh, she's quite arrogant. Mm. And she seems to be mocking. So I'm trying to find out. Is she like more upper class than like the? the yeah, she is, but the she, she's she's fa she's finding it amusing, um, and I'm trying to find bits and pieces out. And she's she is coming forward with some bit. I'm just I just want to try and work a bit more and see what I can get. Mm. But uh, so that's basically that's outside. So basically, it's she's taking the mic out, was she? Yeah, yeah. That's nice. <laughs> what sort of way, though, Andy? She's quite. Uh, I don't want to be disrespectful. She's quite well to do, isn't she? She's quite posh. She's quite, she's quite snobby, and she's. Um, okay. Yeah, I'm all right. Sorry. Um, what I mean, Sean, she's got like she she walks sometimes. She's been known to walk with a cane. Um, and she's known for whacking. She'll whack you out. Right. If, if you're walking, she'll just whack you with it and move out of the way. Now, I think it's whether I mean, it's not unusual for a woman to have a cane. Um, yeah, yeah, age with her? Is she quite old? Or? No, she's not. She's not. She's uh, late 20s, early 30s. Um, she's very tomboyish. She's very. She's very. Um, when she's dressed, she's mm -hmm. dressed quite. Masculine, she's, she's wearing. And the young lad was getting before Tommy, he's with us now, and he's basically saying is we need to be careful with her. So they do interact with each other? They do, yeah. yeah. Tommy's from the same era, just right. really. Now he's basically, he's just, he is a really nice lad, and he, he's just saying to him. He's just. You just walk that way a bit. Sorry. So what was the feeling you were getting just back there? She, the way she's coming across is that she's she's from money. She's from quite a wealthy family. Um, 
Now, is that sewn in like that then? No. It's, it's, yeah, the door where I heard it go. Right, so no one's near it. No one's My near it. Yeah, it's not touching it. It's not touching it. Yeah. Got to. Mm. So we've, Tommy showed me he, he died in an, an accident inside the building, showing something falling. Now, I'm, I'm not saying she's responsible for that, but what I'm saying is if she fell out with someone, it would be quite easy for her to have something like that happen. Yeah, yeah. You know, um, she was known to wear a top hat as mm -hmm. well. So she was quite. That explains to Kane. I think I think she liked dressing as a male. Right. You know. Right. Um, and did you think was she was she some kind of actor? No, she, she dressed like that for that reason. She might she might be, but mm. the way I'm seeing she's showing me. Well, I'm seeing her in, in a suit. She's got a cane. She's got the top hat. She's also got like uh, slick back hair. Mm. Very short. It's me, but I can't. I'm mumbling. It's like mumbling. You know, people talking. You guys aren't talking through there, are you? No. I don't know. When we walk round, we've got to the dressing room and it's not give our dog. But I didn't, I didn't send any door numbers, but the young lad saw me, like I say, he's. he's, he's Flinting, flinting, something like that. He's saying about a door at number 31. Right. Now, whether that, whether there's a room in this building with a number 31 door, it's so be interesting if you come across that, mm -hmm. find out what's yeah. what, what that yeah. room is. Um, I mean, she didn't like him because he, he, he spoke his mind the way he was. Yeah, yeah. Uh, course, he was yeah. out working. Yeah. And, um, you know, um, working class. And if, if someone riled him up or annoyed him, it would have come out of it. And she didn't like that. She didn't like people speaking to him. Right. Speaking to her, I should say. Right. She didn't like people mouthing off and, 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 you know, challenging her. And he's just showing me something dropping. It's dropping. And that's how he lost his life, sort of. Up to the upper balcony and put five coins out on a piece of paper. The coins were from the early 1900s. We drew around them perfectly and left them there to the end of our investigation. And he started his investigation off with a lone visual up in the upper seating area. Okay. Yeah. That's me. On my left side. I had. I've had. To me, it feels like people are sat next to me. Yeah. 
If that's you, stand next to me. Can you move your chair for us, please? After a short break, we all joined Andy up in the upper seating area to conduct another investigation. Okay, the gent who was uh, communicating with me earlier on, I've come back up and I've brought some friends with me. Can you please uh, affect them the same way you've affected me, please? There's a knock over there, then, Rocky. Yeah, yeah, yeah you, mate, yeah. Can you please affect them the way he's affecting me? Love, peace and respect to me, all of love the world, no harm. I'm not here to mock you. I'm here to communicate. Just been touched on top of me, yeah. Has it? Mm. That's why I was getting a touch in the head and can you do that, if that's you, can you do that again, please? This is going to sound really bad, but can I just try something? Can we all just start clapping? Is everyone okay with that? Yeah, yeah. Yeah? You can't have to free. One, two, three, yeah, go. clapping. If you did, can you do it? Do something to make us clap again, please.
Feels slightly cold actually. There's an elderly gentleman sat next to you, Dave. Alright. Okay. He's not looking at you, he's looking straight down towards the stage. Even though he's sitting down, is he tall in the in height? Um, about the same? I'm going to say I'm about the same. He's stockier. He is, he's a bit wider than you. So blowing, someone blowing down with that right side. On your right side? Mm. As if it's coming from the back. Yeah. If that's you affecting Dave, can you do it again, please? Someone's just looking at my head. Right, can you leave me alone and do it to someone else, please? Let someone else experience it. My left, my left hand now is absolutely freezing. Now I've moved away. My right hand's warm. This building, can you make a noise, please? Can you bang on something. Do you think you can do something to the two people stood near the door? There's four of us sat down, there's two stood up. Do you think you can do something to the two stood up? Something nice, all respect in the world. Any spirits up in this balcony? Can you knock one of the coins off, please? I've still seen that spirit of that man next to me. Andy. Yeah. Are you still there? I'm sat where you're sat now, can you make me move?
Meet Dave and about that sea. Do something to make him move, please. Can I see a light flash over there, then? Gives a clue. To the right, it goes, what, sorry? Gives a clue. Gives you can see a light flash over there. Did you see it? No. Where? where oh, where? sorry, yeah, of course, it's pitch black, isn't it? <laughs> over there, I saw a, a light flash. Sometimes I forget when I'm sat in the pitch dark and I'm pointing around because I'm pointing again in the sea. <laughs> Can you please make Dave move out of that seat? I saw it again, that flash. Can you affect me in some way? Make me move. It's going to be on behind the stage. Oh, what? Lots of noises going to be on behind the stage. After an eventful evening of audibles and team members being touched, devices not working, voice recorders being stopped and wiped clean, we decided to bring the investigation to a close. At the end of the night, we went back to check the trigger object coins. All five had moved offline. We all agreed that it looked more like the paper had been pulled.